Social emotional learning is probably the only domain that children will learn whether we do our jobs or not. They will learn something. The question is what? The question of how you interact with people, what you believe about where you belong, how you identify, how you respond to conflict, how you respond to adversity. Whether you teach them or not, young people will learn these things. Social and emotional skills are things like self-awareness, emotion management, empathy, conflict resolution, responsibility, and perseverance. So what does SEL look like in practice? It can take place anywhere and how it looks depends on the youth program or activity. You might already be embedding SEL in your work, but you might call it something else. Youth development programs give young people a chance to engage in real world projects, work in teams, take on meaningful roles, face challenges and experience emotional ups and downs. This makes them natural spaces for young people to learn, practice, and reinforce a wide range of skills such as self-control, teamwork, problem solving, and grit. Let's hear from a panel of young people about how youth programs supported their social and emotional learning. I started a job at the KAYC or the Kennedy Anderson Youth Science Center um, and somebody who I call my work father, um, but my manager, uh, one of the big, biggest things he did to help me was create a safe space to fail. Uh, one of the first times I talked to him on the phone, before I, or any, even getting me into an interview, I called him a pimp on the phone. Um, but then as I came in, he built a relationship with me uh, and he, once, once I had that safe space, safe space to fail. He also um, just helped me along the way. So once I failed and I felt safe with it, he came in and gave me feedback on it. And I didn't take it um, so defensively, de defensively. So the institution that helped me really develop um, the competencies um, would be 4-H. I started out as a horse project um, student. Um, and they really helped me learn self-management and responsibility, taking care of an animal and a big animal um, is a lot of work. Um, so that really started off the, just the, the pathway. One of the biggest things for me was a space to express from the heart. The way that I encountered this space to express the heart was, uh, it was called Circle. And Circle is a really old tradition. We use a talking piece found in, um, you know many indigenous cultures around the world and circle allows everyone to be listened to it also builds your listening muscles as you listen to others adult program staff play a critical role in supporting the sel of youth in their program this happens both through intentional activities as well as a climate and a culture that reinforces sel let's listen to some practitioners talk about their program practices and philosophy our mission um, in the Youth Leadership Initiative is to develop the next generation of multicultural leaders. It is not to develop social emotional skills specifically. That is integrated into our mission and it is the outcome that we have learned. We believe leadership is about us understanding, better understanding who we are, um, us better understanding other people and who they are and learning how to work with them and then um, putting all of that into action. We do a few things that are very uh, specifically uh, related to SEL. One, all of our programs are led by teams of young people called production teams. So they're like a board of directors for each program and they're returning members from the year before, chosen by the production team of the program from the year before. We take what we refer to as the empowerment or agency approach, which is no help, no fix, no save, which is we say to our uh, program people, you cannot help fix or save young people. Partnering with young people uh, to help them understand what their vision for their life is and then working with them side by side to achieve it. SEO can happen anywhere, in a youth program, in a classroom, at home, or anywhere that people interact. For many of us, these skills are as, if not more, important than other academic skills and our social and emotional learning experiences stick with us for the rest of our lives. It really helps you when you understand the power that you have and the capabilities that you have uh, and the intricate uh, relationship that you have with other people in those moments. Uh, it is the, the lessons I learned hiking along a trail in Glacier National Park. 
uh, or camping uh, uh, in storms or trying to figure out exactly how it is that you could survive. Uh, it's not because you know those lessons on a daily basis serve me, but the skills that I developed, the persistence and the, and the, uh, the, the understanding that I could overcome obstacles, that I could overcome hurdles, that I could survive challenges in life, really served me well going into the future.